Tammy coincident events in Estonia in autumn 1994 related to unknowingly stealing a radioactive radiation source from the Tamiku radioactive waste storage facility, which resulted in one death and five illnesses. Description of the incident On October 21, 1994 three brothers entered the Tamiku radioactive waste depository in Maniku village, Saku rural municipality, northern Estonia, Harju county, without authorization and took out a metal container containing a cesium-137 source. They approached the depository through the forest, climbed over the 1.5-meter-high fence and entered the depository by disabling the electric alarm on the steel doors and cutting the locks. The youngest of the brothers, age 25, went down into the first section of the vault, found the metal container, and handed it to his brothers. While he was doing this, a cylinder about 18 centimeters long and 1.5 centimeters in diameter fell out of the container and was thrown into the vault. The perpetrator put a shorter cylinder of the same diameter, which further examination showed to be a source of radiation, in his jacket pocket. The brothers also entered the liquid waste storage facility, which was not equipped with an alarm system, and took several aluminum drums and emptied them of their contents. While they were doing this, one of the barrels fell on the first brother's leg, causing him to sustain a minor injury. The brothers took the barrels and the metal container to the car, which had been left on the road, about 50 meters away. They put the container in the trunk of the car and brought it to Tallinn, where they sold it as scrap metal. When the younger brother returned home to the neighboring village of Kisa, he hung up the jacket with the radioactive source in the hallway, already feeling ill. A few hours later the man started vomiting. On October 25th, he was hospitalized with severe leg and hip injuries and died on November 2nd. Before that, he claimed to have been injured while working in the woods. The cause of death was diagnosed as renal failure. Radiation damage was not diagnosed. On November 9, the man's 13-year-old stepson found a radioactive object in his stepfather's jacket and carried it to the kitchen drawer. On November 17, the child was hospitalized with burns to the hands, which hospital workers recognized as radiation burns. The medics notified the authorities. Estonian emergency workers measured radiation doses around the house and, after narrowing down the possible location of the radioactive source using thermoluminescent analysis and spin resonance imaging, they found the radiation source on November 18. It was transported back to the Tamiku repository. The man who brought the radioactive source home received radiation doses of 183,000 rads on his thigh and 4,000 rads for his entire body. The second perpetrator, a 28-year-old man, received an arm radiation dose of 1,200 to 2,000 rads, resulting in injury, and the third, age 27, received a whole-body radiation dose of less than 100 rads, resulting in mild radiation sickness. Three other residents of the house in Kiza were also affected, a child received a whole-body dose of 360 to 400 rads, with a localized dose to his hands of 2,500 rads, which required amputation of fingers on one hand. The 78-year-old mother of the deceased man received a whole body dose of 225 to 400 rads and suffered moderate radiation sickness, she died December 31, 1995 with a diagnosis of heart failure. His wife received a whole body dose of 50 to 100 rads. A four-month-old dog, who was sleeping in the kitchen near the radiation source, died. Three Kisa residents who interacted with the victims, seven emergency workers, two doctors and a nurse were ordered to undergo medical and biological examinations. The radiation doses they received were very low and no radiation-related clinical effects were detected. Consequences The Estonian authorities requested international assistance to analyze the accident and consult on eliminating its consequences. The Russian Federation, Sweden and Finland offered their assistance to Estonia. This provided an opportunity to learn lessons from the incident and to develop measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. Estonia does not have a nuclear power program or nuclear research reactors, but there is a need to store radioactive waste arising from the use of radionuclides in medicine, research and industry. In 1963, a central repository for low- and intermediate-level radioactive waste was built in Tamiku, 12 kilometers south of Tallinn. In the mid-1980s, renovation of the facility was begun to upgrade it to meet new criteria for the safe management of radioactive waste, 
but due to a lack of resources this work was not completed. At the time of the accident, the repository was operated by a municipal enterprise, the Tallinn Special Vehicle Depot, under the supervision of the National Health Council of the Government of Estonia. In 1998, the International Atomic Energy Agency issued a 70-page report detailing the chronology of events leading up to the tragedy, the measures taken to eliminate it, and the conclusions and lessons learned from it. At the time the report was issued, the injured were still undergoing medical treatment. Remediation work at the Tamiko site began in November 2008 and was completed in September 2011. The waste with a total activity of 55 terabecquerels was sorted and transported to the Paldiski Recycling Center. According to Joel Valge, head of the ALRA company, the total radioactivity of the removed waste was so high that a nuclear power plant with the appropriate amount of uranium could have provided Estonia with electricity for four years. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.